And welcome to our final week of the regular season here at Mo Whiff. My name is Josh Rogers, Commissioner Mo Whiff. We have we're going to stream all four games on one stream tonight. Even if it lasts till midnight. Even if it lasts till midnight, <laughs> that's not going to happen. Well, Which, we won't be here till midnight, but the stream on you Facebook. Do this? What sure. you want to do? Oh, I, I don't know. I You'd like rather that do that? Much. All right. But yeah, I mean. The stream on Facebook may last till midnight. Oh, because it'll fall behind. But we're on Cameron's uh, okay. hotspot. Yeah, let's go. Here we go. Uh, so we have Mamas versus Bombers here. Yeah, Mambas are trying to play a little spoiler here. Stop the Bombers for any chance at the one seed. Uh, I'm sure Cole would love to rub that in his brother's face. I believe he started off saying that he wants them to not get the one seed, and he wants Cameron to not get MVP. <laughs> and he wants to get a, hit a couple home runs off of him. So, despite this being the last game of the year and not meaning anything for the Mambas, Cole was making it mean something. And only having two of their five players. Oh, that there's a... Oh, ooh, almost a good play there by uh, Parker, but it gets through the hole for a base knock for Cam to start the game. This has kind of become Cameron's M.O. of, uh, you know, the starting off the year kind of slow, and then, you know, come the end of the year in playoff time, he starts to hit the ball. Back to back <laughs> players of the week as it was announced today as we had a little delay there on getting things put out this week. Yeah, it was a close race, uh, but Cameron ultimately got this one again. And I mean, you know, when you pitch as well as he does and you're swinging the bat, it's pretty hard to beat. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm jacked. Yes, Two all here to yours? Nick. It's not. Oh, okay. So we will have all four. All eight teams here tonight. All eight teams playing one game. It does seem like shorthanded is the uh, is the storyline of the night. Uh, Mambas, that's five there. Yeah, five. The Mambas accessing a substitute player today. Empire will be the same Empire, way. and we are rocking three. So, uh, me, Ryan, and James. So. See ya. Nice, nice. Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, I don't know what other teams are doing, but it sounds like a lot of people are not going to make it tonight. Yeah, most of the games don't mean. Oh. oh, double clutch, double clutch. Um, yeah, I think these CCSDL first two are the ones that do. Is, is, is done. Yes. Ah. Win or lose by any of us uh, doesn't mean a thing. No, he, he's, uh, his daughter has uh, uh, But the uh, Feather Shark Division. There's a lot at stake here. Jordan needs that one seed. Yeah, cause he because he will not be here, here if they're in that first round. Yeah. That is tough. Oh, wow. Nick strikes out on the last uh, 55 under pitch you would have seen. Way to come and clutch there for Cole. Gosh, you're much better quieter than Jason. <laughs> is that a good thing or a bad thing? That sentence didn't quite make a lot of sense. Like, I think I get the idea, but I could read that about six different ways. 2-0 to the clutch hitting, only on hitting Logan Trotter. He's either all or nothing. Absolutely. And you know what? He is really breaking out late in this season as well. The Bombers' bats are just hitting the ball like crazy right now. Try the corner and miss. So we want to get this big league picture here tonight, Jason, and we're going to be missing about Everyone. half the league. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the Bombers are missing Jake. Oh, I'm too quiet. Here. Oh, so it's not Hi. me. Hi, Jordan. How are you doing, buddy? I figured that was a knock on me being loud, which is not surprising. Well, he's also driving and watching. Hopefully he's just listening for the most part. But Yeah, I mean, Jordan's got um, a game in 10 minutes tonight. Yes. So... Nice yeah, pitch there. Oh, oh. The Whoa! Oh, are you okay? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be an interesting night. Um, not only with the solo one stream all night, yes. you know, because all of this is going to be into one video until I clip it up. Um, so it's going to be kind of an ongoing commentating. But it's an ongoing night for everybody tonight. Oh, what are you streaming at? Whoa, Cole <laughs> talking a little trash. This is fun. Cole doesn't give a crap, so he just wants to, like you said, just wants to play spoiler. That's when teams are the most dangerous and when they got nothing to lose. 
They're just out here having fun gold playing hands. some wiffle ball. I can still win it. You, you'd only win the gold hand. Oh, just the one hand. Yeah, only one hand I'll can win it, gold, unfortunately. One gold hand. That still leaves the other hand open for someone else. <laughs> Adam North in the building. I feel like it's been a hot minute. Oh, 4-1. He was here last week when I was not. Yeah. So, yeah. That's five. Two outs. What do you want to do? If you, if you want to hit, hit. Oh, oh Paul wants to hit. Yeah, you need your sub player to go to the other side there, Cole. That's it, too. Oh, yeah. oh no. And the Bombers can't take advantage of 255 and under situations. Cole gets two guys. And Cole is out of the, the I don't know, it's not really a jam. It was only a single, so I was changing my mind there. All right, so as we head to the bottom of the first yeah, inning, I want to thank FGM Logistics. FGM Logistics is a locally family-owned and operating trucking company. Hiring Class A CDL drivers starting at $27 an hour. Call 618-875-9425 for more information. We do have a nice matchup in the Feather Shark division here. We'll get you a nice picture of their banner over there on the side. Feather Shark is located in Chesterfield, Missouri. They're the leading IT provider for fire districts in the metro area. They provide, manage, and support VoIP phones, desktops, servers, and networks. For more information, go to feathershark.com. And you're getting a good look here at Cameron just rifling the ball. It is backside. Yeah, I mean, we're, we've got a nice camera it's angle with the best side. It, it definitely isn't as worse, that's for sure. All right, so Cam Smith is a uh, tall order for this Mamba's lineup that's shorthanded tonight. Um, the sub player not getting uh, – He's going to get a full taste of what Mo Whiff has to offer here. Against Cam Smith. Yes. Hey, can you turn the radar on? Uh, sure can't. Cole can. It just says slow. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. There it is. 84. Just kidding. 10. That's not reading correctly. That was better. 112. I know. <laughs> Move the the radar part of it. That, that might have been right. It might be too high. Cause it re it's it's reading the higher pitches better though, is what I'm saying. Just tape it to the strike zone. <laughs> Like, I like our strikes, but the clear one that they now have, which is plexiglass, would be a lot better for that radar and even better for some camera angles. But All right, here is Cole Layton here to lead off the bottom of the first inning against his brother Cam Smith. You know Cole would like to capitalize here and have a nice last game of the season. Yes, Cole wants to make sure his brother does not get a perfect game and no hit or shut out. He's going to find a way to put some good swings on some pitches. Yeah, I would think if you're Cole, you're probably sick of seeing Cameron win Player of the Week. I'm sick of it. Yeah, okay. I have to make the, <laughs> the graphics. I, I voted Skibby. I said his games were a little bit bigger situation and Cameron's didn't matter as much. But I did say that I also agreed that Cameron probably had the better week statistically. Yes. That my only reason I picked Skibby was because he did it in a bigger moment. <laughs> So I, I win it either way. There's the strike out there looking. And here's Parker Bunch. He's really not. Was not. I let him throw that clean serve all at once. Parker Bunch has had a pretty good season. Yeah, I think that it's been season a very two. common trend this year that a lot of people had a better season. And now that we're getting to the end of season two, you're seeing even more people kind of step up and show that they can uh, play this game of wiffle ball. Yeah, you know, Parker had some Yellow Bats experience, but it's nothing like no whiff experience. So, no. Good to see him make the adjustment and have a better season two. I actually wonder if dropping Yellow Bats off of my weekly schedule helped me a little bit this year. Because it was kind of tough to play there on Wednesday and then come here and see people who actually knew how to throw. And going back and forth every single week maybe kept my timing down a little bit better this year. I would imagine. Go. 
We did get a little bit of an early start here tonight, so it is, uh, it's nice that some people were able to make it so we could get rolling uh, a little earlier than normal. Normally we would have waited till 6 o'clock, tried to start around 5.40. Yeah, since we have to... Big uh, strikeout. Yeah. Oops. Parker goes down swinging. Since we have to squeeze in the lightning delayed game. <laughs> All right, what is our uh, player's name here? Grant. Grant. All right, so Grant substitute up at the plate here. Grant's got some size to him. Yeah, he He's looks like fella. he looks like he could run into a couple here. Although, welcome to Mo Whiff, buddy. Might be a little more difficult than what you saw in the backyard here, Grant. But you know what? We've seen substitute players who are new to Mo Whiff. Hit some pitches you didn't think they would. So maybe he gets a little lucky here. Good take there by Grant. Three one. All right, way to work it here for the for the young guy. A lot of times, if you're new, it could be really easy to go up there and start swinging away. And so to have some patience here and try and see if he can uh, maybe catch up to something here. 3-2. Hey, great pitch. I don't think you could have done anything with that. As it hits that lower outside side, the lower outside <laughs> corner, it hit somewhere on the strike zone. All right, heading to the top of the second inning, we're going to thank UCCSTL. That is our division. Yes. They are uh, will recover money owed to you from creditors. Collect on court judgments awarded to you and or your business. Go to uccstl.com for more information. Last chance here of the season for people to earn an all-star game nomination. And that all-star game is brought to you by McKillop's Tax Service. You can get the maximum return you deserve. Family owned and operated since 1968. Go to mckillopstaxservice.com for more information. It's almost tax season again. I hate tax season. I owe money every year, and I usually owe quite a bit of it. That happens when you run your own business. That is what happens when my paychecks don't get taxes taken out of them, too. That's nice. Well, until they, until they want well, that taxes. Hopefully you save up for that, Jason. I mean, I try. <laughs> but, it, I mean, it, I think last year it was a good four or five grand I owed. Oof. So it, it takes a lot to save an extra four or five grand on top of what I'd like to already be saving, but it gets the job done. Top two, Cam's gonna lead it off. Oh, uh, straight back. Cameron, Cameron was thinking scoreboard with that swing. Yes. Cam led off the game with a ground ball single. Cameron does stand with a pretty low stance. Um, I think he likes to be eye level with the ball as much as possible. Oh, and he's gonna put this the other way. The and you know what? Heck? was that well Cam Cameron beat me to it when you're hot you're hot you know sometimes you're just rolling and even, everything's a hit did you even mean to swing it was a definitely it was a hundred percent check swing <laughs> and then you made contact and just slowly finished your swing that was cute you know Cameron heating up at right the right time to try and get maybe some MVP votes out of some people um, but maybe people are just sick of seeing his face they don't want to vote for him so we'll see <laughs> Either way, I think this is probably the tightest we've had more than two people in an MVP race. Let's go, Nick. Come on. Yeah. Last year, Cole and Skibby were kind of the the, the two obvious front runners uh, with Cam and having that late push at the end. MVP. He finished second in MVP. I stand corrected. So three people there. You ready? But, uh, you know, there's a guy to my right that's got a great argument. Yeah, my my only knock against myself is I have like a 10 ERA. But, you know, it's not good. <laughs> That's all I know is it's not good. So, I mean. It doesn't necessarily knock you out of that. I think I just had expectations for myself to be a little bit better on that side of the ball. That's five. Yeah. But either way, pretty happy with how the year turned out. I would say so. This worked uh, in the first inning for Cole. Surprised Nick's going for it. 
getting away with some of these 55 and unders. I got to think the way that Cole throws his 55 and under, you just you just want it, man. You can't just – if you can look at this 55 and under and say, nah, I'll take my walk, you're not a competitor. Oh, no. Oh, no. Cole's figuring that out. I mean, even though it's a, just a – Let's go ahead and rewind the video real quick if you're watching the live stream. Watch that pitch come in and just uh. – It's got a little curve to it, but it's – yeah, I think the wind is helping him. The wind is definitely helping that pitch out for him. I mean, he might as well just use it now. Don't worry about throwing hard. Yeah, I mean, you know Logan can run into one here as he's been. It seems like every night now when he's on the field, a home run's being hit. It's just getting a little outrageous at this point. This Bombers team is just, oh, figured out the key. time it hits. It's, it's come from everybody. It's not, not just the, the usual guy you think of. Lately it has been, but early on in the season. Yeah, I mean, to even get to this point, to be fighting for a one seed, is, has been a very big team effort for this team. It's five. Hogan says, no thanks. I don't want to see that lob pitch. <laughs> so it'll be first and second, one out. Uh, you know, they have been writing... Oh, thanks. It, yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, they have been riding Cam's pitching coattails yes, to these victories. Yes, a ton of innings have piled up He's on Cameron. Every inning the past at least what? three or four weeks. Yeah, it started with us, which so however long ago that was. So he pitched both against us. Both against the Pilots. Uh, he pitched the first against the Pilots and closed oh, yeah, out yeah, yeah. the second game and now pitching here again against the Mambas. So a lot of innings and a lot of wins. Uh, Cameron Smith, it was discovered, did break the single season wins record. The previous record was eight and he got nine last week. Oh. So that was something I was digging into today. Just to see where we're at. Oh, great pitch there. You know fans' names? We talked before the game. On what? what? Here? No, right here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Full count. Come on. Come on. Anyway, anyway. Give me up. Give me up. I mean, take a double play to not get Cameron up here, but that's always possible. Paul is not going to score. Yeah, at this point, I think the Bombers need to score a run before they keep flirting with that 55 and under. I agree. They haven't found success yet with it, so just take your base runners, take advantage at this point. Pull for three with three strikeouts. You got to feel pretty lucky if you are. Cole right now. <laughs> Cole's talk is smack, yeah. It is a little interesting. Uh, thanks to the 55 and under and different things like that. Uh, last year, I believe the league lead for walks was 44. This year, it's like 20. So it has. Yeah, you know, Cam and I talked about record books. It's probably been a month or so since we talked about it. But once we get our season figured out, our, our rules finalized, and like solidified, probably have like two different record books. Like, like a, different eras. Correct. Of like the, the, the beginning era and then era. era. <laughs> and then the new era. Like the hats. Bye. Yes. We want. Bye. Adios amigos. Yeah, I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Um, you know, obviously. I am kind of close in some of those offensive records, so I was yes. digging into that to see how far away from some of those I was. 4-1. And it's going to take a heck of a game tonight, so I think it's probably a little unreasonable. So we're just looking to have fun tonight. <laughs> um, I mean, there's a couple that are possible. I could get the three hits maybe, depending on who pitches for them. Uh, but I'd need three home runs, three hits, six RBIs. That's five. He's going to take his RBI walk. Not a bad idea. Bad idea. Um, so that would be a heck of a night, yeah, you, know, you know. Three I hits, know, three think, home runs. I think what, that was a run, right? Yeah. I think what really got me thinking about that is the pitching stats go, from season one. Yeah, those How are going to be ridiculously. They'll never be caught. Although because Jordan isn't that far off from what he did last year. <laughs> true. But like, especially team wise, like yes. Jordan last year. Team stats are no probably shot. never going to be the same. No Yes, anything team-related, 
very different game nowadays. The entire had almost every pitching team record. True. I believe there's an entire segment on the Three Up Three Down podcast about that. If you want to check it out on all the normal podcasting sites, I believe Cam and Josh dug into that pretty deep. That. So if you want the, uh, if, if you want more details, you can look that up, and I'm sure you can find Check it that. Out on Spotify. Yeah. Oh, that's and a shot. The that's the grand, grand slam. slam. Wow. That is a five to nothing lead for the Bombers on a Nick Bone grand slam. Yeah, Nick Bone was not here last week against the Pilots, but he has been swinging a hot bat as well. It just seems to be. Just kind of the ongoing storyline here for the it's fun. The Bombers, everybody just seems to be swinging it right now. And maybe it might be one of those situations where one guy just is, you know, one guy does it, the next guy feels comfortable, now he does it. Now the next guy does it. You know, everyone just feels comfortable because everybody's contributing. You you take a deep breath and uh, a little bit more relaxed. Yeah, I mean, it definitely makes a difference. (laughs) And, you know, by this point in the year, we've gotten close. Cameron, is the GoPro okay still over there? Things have been getting knocked around a little bit. Paul rocking that pink bat. Moro. Red batting gloves. Full bombers attire. Other than that, shot to Parker. Good Parker, play. Good play. Could have turned a double play. But you know what? He's just going to take us out at this point. What's up? Good play there, though, Parker. So much I know, I hit it right Cameron back at the plate here. Feels like the sixth time this inning. Rory has walked into the building. Welcome to Mo Whiff, Rory. He's back to pitching hard. Andrew Nichols has returned with what looks like dinner. Hopefully he brought enough for everyone. That is not a very big bag. I don't even know what he has, but I'm interested. <laughs> Shake Shack. Holy word. There you go. I don't think I've ever had Shake Shack. Uh, I think I had it in an airport one time. And that was the only, because I don't think it was in Missouri until more recently. Right. So I think the airport was the only place I saw it. That's a base hit. That's a hit. The Cameron just cannot get out at this point. If he has good stats again, I'm picking somebody else. I don't care what anybody says. Well, luckily, there's only one game for him to win on the mound tonight, so there is a chance. There is a chance. Um, Cameron's stats are getting a little bloated here from these last few games. Here, I'll show you the, the tweet I originally uh, had ready to send out about Cameron, about his player of the week. <laughs> it just says, Season 2, Week 16, POTW, blah, 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 Cam Smith, blah, blah, because I'm tired of talking. You could that. have just quoted no last week's. Count is. Oh, are either, you kidding me? doesn't matter Can because that, that, that is out number three. You could have went on Twitter and just quoted last week and just said, and again, or something like that. <laughs> I should have. All right, we are heading to the bottom of the third inning, and the Bombers have taken a nice 5 to nothing lead. And with that, we're going to thank 27 Outs, apparel for the true baseball fan made for you. Check them out at 20, the number 7, like the logo, outs.com. We also want to thank promotional consultants. PCI believes in strategy and ideation are essential steps to finding the right brand in merchandise, apparel, awards, and signing solutions to enhance both you and your promotional marketing and employee recognition. Please give them a follow and check them out at promotionalconsultants.com. I am. What's time to go? Don't mind Adam North. I it's am. It's only been 23 me. minutes, Adam. Okay. You're a very tall person standing right behind me. <laughs> Fantastic. That's usually what happens. You mess up the shoulder. Nothing had structural damage other than a messed up growth plate in my shoulder. Cole Layton stepping in, looking to break up. I the think Cameron wanted that pitch. Perfect game. So, like, what does that mean? Does that mean no base runners at all? It means zero people have reached base. 
Wow. I don't know. That is an impressive feat that Cameron has we're, probably we're done. We're only in the top of the, or the bottom of the second, so he's only faced three battles. That's true. So chances of this perfect game continuing seems a little unlikely. Whoa, he throws hard. Cameron does have family in attendance. Oh, that's who your sub is. You have Blake. There goes, goes the, the other no way with it. No hitter and the perfect game. No hitter and perfect game are broken. And definitely no booth jinx on that one. Um, so Blake uh, knows Sam. And because of that, he played in a men's league baseball team with us. Gotcha. Like when I was like 18. So maybe 19. So small world. This is a small world. I would. <laughs> That's a little tight. Is, is that Josh's? There you go. That's good work there. I can tell. Well, if that's the case, I'll swing left handed. Or one handed. There you go. That sounds like a good plan. Maybe you can get Jordan Smith back on the Empire. That'd be great. I don't have to wear it anymore. Wow, what a development. Josh Rogers seen without a brace. <laughs> Hi, Jordan. How's the volume? I'm so sorry about that, Jordan. Is it bad that we both assumed you were just talking trash on me? I know. I <laughs> we both just assumed you were saying I'm being loud. All right, so uh, something has happened here, and somebody's out, and there's... Parker struck out looking. And Grant's going to get his second taste of candy. Oh, yeah. That's kind of weird to say, but I said it out loud. Well, it's already happened at this point, and we're just going to roll with it. It is live on Facebook and YouTube. We'll be there forever. Every taste begins with Cam. Obviously, <laughs> <laughs> we brought some more Pacific cups. <laughs> yeah, dude. Hey, oh, hey, Grant boy. made contact. Hey, boy. Hey, You'll love to see it. Yeah. I'm good, thank you, though. There is a rumor that Alex pitched well at a tournament and is now going to pitch well tonight for your team. That's that's the hope against the Pilots. Like Adam's out there warming up. Good pitch. So we'll see if Brett shows <laughs> up. It might just be a whole shorthanded night. Forever. We're gonna have to Photoshop some people in here. Let's go, Cole. <laughs> it might not even be worth taking a picture at this point. We'll just take all the pictures that Adam's girlfriend did and just Photoshop everyone into this. Might as well we just might as well just do that anyway. Just take the headshots of everyone and everybody. just yeah, just stack them up. That airplane looks like it's barely moving. Cole stepping back in, broke up the no-hitter, perfect game, last that bout, the hard-hit single. Paul has learned and moved over just a touch. Trying yeah. to take that single away. I think Cole is a unique breed in wiffle ball as he does go the other way a lot. Um, there's not a lot of people that that's how they play, but he, he lives in that middle to right center field even down the right field line. And I think he picks up a lot of extra hits that way because there's not as many people playing on that yeah, side. Yeah, he's, he's through the ball, doesn't pull off. 3-1. Good job, Cole. Cole has said that Cam is not throwing that hard tonight. Let it be known. So, you know, that is a Cam rumor. That is a rumor that I also was trying to spread. That's a good right, pitch. 3-2. Two, that one looked a little Cole's quick. Frowning at the corner of the strike zone. There. I don't, I don't think he like. I don't think he liked the call. No. I think him and the umpire are having a little little chat over there. Oh, that's a good pitch. And he's gonna get out of it. Back for that one. We go top three. Still five. Nothing bombers. Yeah, we're gonna take public schoolhouse. Public schoolhouse is a premier event venue for weddings, rehearsal dinners, corporate events, showers, and holiday anniversary birthday parties. Located in the heart of Cottleville, Missouri, you can find them on Facebook, Instagram, and publicschoolhouse.com. 
And between the lines, between the lines is a, it takes a technical approach to providing the best training and exposure opportunities for baseball and softball athletes and travel organizations. Whether it be our instruction showcase, recruiting, or tournaments, our, provi our team provides BTL athletes with the best opportunity Logan, to compete Logan, at the collegiate level. Follow them on Facebook, Instagram, yeah. Twitter, or check them out at betweenthelines.pro for more information. Who are we at, bottom one? Or top one? Top three. Mm -hmm. Game's crawling by. Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't tired all the time. Did you see Alex put different numbers on his shirt? I did, yes. He goes, it took me a while. I went, no, it didn't. Did you see on on there, Josh, the numbers? The GoPro is now messed up. I don't have every team's because I didn't know everybody's numbers. The GoPro is looking at Trotter's thighs. Three, two. <sighs> Full count. <laughs> gonna take his walk, even with the five nothing lead. Oh, he's not gonna take his walk. Rewind, rewind, rewind. We got runs hit. He's going to hit 55 and under here. Logan has some power. He's going to go the other way with it. Cole's Parker, not going to get Parker there. literally just walked over there to well, figure it was going to be pulled. And at, he goes out there. At the end of the day, it's the same damage, but it goes into a different stack column for Logan. Probably a stack column he likes a little more. And steps Paul, he is 0 for 2 with a walk on the night. He is rocking one sock push down, one slightly up. <laughs> uh, the gray Adidas. They have a little bit of green on them from the field. Very common look around here at Catch-22 Miracle Field as the... Hey, that's right, he swung it all over his head, but it did hit the zone. So, can't really blame him. I think if Paul was a little taller, he might have had a shot with that one. Four one. Four. Four. There's the pitch. Five. Yes, he's gonna hit. Yeah, he's gonna hit. Or you can just skip him. If you don't want to climb, if you don't want to climb, skip him in the lineup until he gets here. Uh oh. Yeah. The two-run home run for Paul Pugh, making it seven nothing Bombers. I really demanded that pitch. I believe that Paul is going to trademark the term pink power after his bat. Yes. That's that's what he calls it. He calls it the pink power. He sometimes calls it pinky in the brain as well. <laughs> that is not a reference that hardly anybody would understand anymore these days. But. Uh-oh, not quite enough. That's Jason's go-to call. Uh -oh. Hey, sometimes it's damage, man. It's not a, it's not a good feeling. Is it weird I didn't recognize Grant without his hat on there? I was thinking something. I was like, who's that guy? Nick, you okay? Oh, man, I'm sorry. Damn, Nick may have to be pulled from this game after the, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. It just stops me mid sentence in utter disbelief of the damage. Uh oh. It is, Your man. Turn. It's. Your turn. You no, no, home run. You said home run. You got Trotter using that walk off bat. 
It is statistically proven that people, uh, people like consistency. And so if I just consistently give them the same call, they'll just like our streams. It makes sense if you don't think about it. <laughs> if you don't think about it. I was sitting over here trying to figure out what you just said, and he said, like, don't think about it. And now it makes oh, sense. <laughs> One-two count. Is Cole, is Cole going to live on that pitch? He, I, I've heard a rumor that he may be purchasing a home on that pitch. He's just going to live on it. I wouldn't, you shouldn't live on that house. You live in it. There it is. Wow, what a combination of pitches there. Oh, Paul! Paul steps. Oh! No! Oh, with the over the back catch. Huh? That's two outs. Wow. Wowzers. Uh oh. That's not an uh oh. He brought back the uh oh. Run from Parker. Bunch. He brought back the uh oh. That was gone too. Wow. Over the head. Fully reached out. He said, I've seen enough. <laughs> Cam stepping back in. Two oh here to Cam. Oh that boy. Is That's gonna stay fair. Gone. Come on. And welcome to the double digit club for Only home runs, Cam Smith. History with double digit home runs each year. Let's go. It is now 10 to nothing, Bombers. Only one in Mo Whiff history with double digit home runs in both seasons. That's my first one. Okay, how many runs? That's five this inning. Come on. Cameron, very excited. To extend his lead. Yeah, this is going to force the archers to have to win. Oh, uh -oh. That's a hit. Nick reached for that one. Is that an error? Error on no, Cole. No, that's a hit. That's not an error. That ball is fucking lying. <laughs> uh, Nick, this, this is going to force the archers to have to win their delayed game and their game against the Mojo. The Mojo. Uh oh, uh -oh I said it. Sorry, but that was the uh oh. That was Everybody a one hopper to the second fence. Is that seven? That's seven. See when you aren't when you are talking and something happens, well, no. Nick, Nick, it becomes an uh oh. Hey, we're switching pitchers. Uh -oh. Nick's, Nick's going in. Uh oh, Cam Smith out of the game. All right, well, with that happening, we're going to thank our sponsor, Walk Off Bat Company, who just hit a home run. Yes. Walk Off Bat Company. They pride themselves on producing high quality bats. Their bats are very durable and the lightest on the market. If you're looking for a bat to take your game to the next level. Email them at walkoffbatco at gmail.com or find them on Instagram at walkoffbat to place your order. Once you swing one, you'll realize why nothing beats a walk-off, and then they'll send me my money. On the hill. Uh, no, I just messaged them earlier, though. Let's see. Let me find him. Let me find him. Nicholas Bone. Nick Bone on the hill, pitching for the Bombers. Coming in in relief, saving Cam Smith's arm for the playoffs. Um, we, we are hoping that this is a strategic thing and that Cam Smith is having no injuries, but we will report after the game just uh, any kind of update if, if there is more to this than just a strategic playoff move. We got to get a little drama in here. Bottom three. We have 12 minutes left. See, Parker. You're all excited to be on the mound, though, but now you're not in the playoffs. Even if we only have four wins. How much time we got? <laughs> Twelve. Twelve minutes. Yeah, uh, this guy's teammate can't drop the fact that, you know, we the Empire are in the playoffs right now. Yeah, let's score. Twelve. It's pretty comical how... Uh, upset he is about it. Jason. I know. I think what I, what I believe is I believe Spencer's just a big fan of Cole and he wants to uh, fight for Cole there. Oh, I see. I see. It has nothing to, it's nothing personal with the Empire by any means. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> you know, nothing. Totally understandable. Nothing, there. nothing to do with talking trash to Josh no. Rogers. All just, you know, we felt Cole maybe got scammed a little bit. 
I don't disagree. <laughs> I mean, we did not see this happening. And you know what, though? Either way, you could make the argument either direction. That and everybody knew the whole year what was happening. So it's not like this is a surprise to yeah, anybody. This has been happening for a while. This has we, been happening we knew for a this while. Was gonna... Nobody's surprised. I mean, for a while we thought two out of the three making it from our division were going to be under 500. Yeah. For a while you guys were... We were flirting with 500 yes. for a long time. So. And and the sad thing is, you know, this is going to be a, a matchup tonight that doesn't really matter, but 9-8 and eight does not sound as good as 10-8. and eight. Or 9-8 yeah, nine and eight does not sound as good as 10-7. Nick Bone's going to range to his left to make a good play. Ten and seven sounds a lot better than nine and eight. We said for that, but I'm also very short-handed. So who knows? <laughs> I'm just looking for three home runs. Oh, one here to Grant. Looking to swing out of my shoes. That helicopter is cruising. Maybe we can get a nice camera angle of it. It's gonna fly right over. There it is. Another good pitch. Grant. Grant. His name is Grant Substitute. I want to see Grant get into one right here. Oh, that was a good swing. Oh. Whoa! He hit it so hard the camera is now looking down the right field. Excuse me, I kind of choked on my own words there. Two away for Cole Layton. I think he'd like to run into a home run here. He'd like to run into some brick wall. <laughs> that home doesn't, run. Brick wall doesn't quite sound comfortable, but whatever you're into. Oh, okay. Wow. His sunglasses away. You know what? He he felt like they were impeding his vision of the ball. Don't blame him. You know, I almost want to just play today, even if Mike does show up on time. Is it worth it, though, if you end up screwing yourself gonna, up more? Oh, there it is. I stopped Jason myself. called it, and I didn't say it either. He was literally whispering. Cole I Layton. said, oh, and then stop. Cole Layton goes oppo once again for a solo bomb. Um, what is that for Cole this year? Is that maybe probably like eight? Not sure. Uh, I won't swing two-handed. I will just have my left hand on the bat. That's not that much different than how you normally swing. It's very true. And it was low, so it like. Although, do you really want to kill your stats for this season? I mean, can they be killed? They're already down there. I mean, they are better than what they were last year, but. That was Cole Layton's seventh of the year. Seven. And Cam Smith had joined the was the third player this year to hit double-digit home runs. You, him, and? Ryan O'Rear. Ryan O'Rear, who's Someone else who has a shot at it, Rory Rank, has eight, and he's got 10 minutes and a whole game. Can I hit three in like 10 minutes? Uh, Skibby has eight. So there is some guys that could be flirting, they just have to have a pretty good hey, night. Josh, Okay, we go to top of the fourth. The I thought you weren't giving Cameron his MVP. Parker, just walk him. <laughs> uh, oh. So the Mamas do get one on a Cole Layton solo shot. And we are going to Parker Bunch on the mound. I think this is his first appearance this year. He did get uh, a little bit of time last year with the Empire. Hey, get payback for him robbing that home run. Parker says, I don't even need warm-ups, just let's go. Because we have less than seven minutes left. So this is most likely the last inning here. Oh, yeah. Paul hits one deep to left field. And <laughs> oh, gone. Oh, my goodness. Have a day, Paul Pugh. Player of the week? Cam called it. He said, get revenge on Parker for stealing that home run. Is that player of the week, Paul Pugh? As long as it's not Cam Smith, I don't care who it is this week. Sorry, Cam. So. Popped up. Kind of the. Straight back. We were talking about Parker Bunch did pitch last year. 
Uh, he threw one and a third innings. There it is. One and a third. So he does not have a lot of experience out there on the hill. He did punch out two guys. And his one and a third? And his one and a third. Two out of the four hits. Four guys got out, yeah, he actually uh, faced nine batters. Oh, that's not good. Oh, and Cole is not going to get to this one, and Cameron just continues Cameron to hit. Cameron is now six for six with four singles, a double, and a home run. It's baby power as his daughter is here in the stands cheering him on. So he is a triple away from the cycle. We're on cycle watch if he gets back up. Oh, fantastic. Just another thing to watch while Cameron's playing. I just I hope he strikes out, honestly. It's just... <laughs> We may be starting the we We're Sick of Cam fan club. Oh, man. Nick tries one hard. I gave you an center. oh, man. <laughs> You're trying to mix it up. I'm trying. I'm it trying to give you something different. and third for Logan Trotter. I believe last year uh, I said I was going to print out a sheet that had different calls for things it's and just, just mark my way down. It's just your natural, uh-oh, like it's just what you go to. It's my, it's my... I'm a very repetitive person. I'm very... Logan oh boy. hits one deep over. Oh, boy. <laughs> Cole's head. That's a two-run double. Is that 15? It is now 15 to 1. Oh, boy. Gee, golly. No, let's not go with that. Golly, mister. That's what the little kid in Hercules says. I think. Paul hits Jeez. one deep, but this oh, It's coming God. back! Oh my goodness! Paul That's is his having third a third home run of the night. Only three? Yep. It seems like he's had like five. Well, he had one robbed. That's true. Good lord, Paul. Paul. Don't let him get a triple. Walk him. Walk him. Hey, oh, wait. Just don't let him get a triple. Uh oh. I said it. Crap. I do wonder how many games that I do get out of here. That's five. That could be a pop out there. That could be huge. You love to see it if you are a member of the We're Sick of Cam fan club. Cameron's perfect night at the plate is gone. He's he went from pitching. He goes from Luke pitching. Luke that home run earlier was for you guys. Oh, there you go. Young fans who were here earlier. And then check out the Melonheads on TikTok because <laughs> we're cooler than them. 1-0 yeah. here to Nick Bone who is 4 for 7. <laughs> Bring in the heat! He's out here. Parker throwing gas out there. A little harder. One. There it is. Cole's going to range and make a good play over there. Cole just makes all those plays He's look in line so for easy. Gold hands of the year. Does he, does he get a pair of real golden hands no. for winning it? Is there a trophy? a trophy? Is there a trophy? That uh, Cameron's making. Is he using his hand? Huh? No. He's just going to like. It's going to be the last like, thing they said. Draw like a turkey, clay. like back in an old, like in elementary school. Oh, I was thinking like clay oh, around clay. his hand, and then That'd put it, cool. then take it out, and then put it in the furnace. Ah, uh, and then you can uh, two minutes. score and slip, score and slip the pieces together. Look at you going back to elementary school art class. I took claymation or clay, clay something in high school. Full count, because the teacher was cool. Okay. I don't remember what it was actually called, but it was a clay class. Hey, no pressure, Logan. Logan I, I, Logan, I need you to go up there and uh, swing away. Boo. Boo. It is 17 to 1. It is 17 to 1, and we're not going to take the 55 and under. Sam Skibby in the house. MVP. Uh oh, Jeez. I said it. Gary! Uh, no! Fourth home run for Paul. This is unreal. That's seven. 
What's the mercy? Uh, Jason, I hate to do this on broadcast to you. But That's seven. Your Hercules quote was wrong. Dang it. What it's is Jeepers. There you go. I knew it was with a G. Hey, and actually, Jeepers is a J. So. Oh. I mean, I'll no matter what you twice, happens, I guess, but. <laughs> And he's yes. No matter what happens. <laughs> I heard you say that. I was like, no, nah, it's keepers. I know. I knew it was something like that, but I haven't seen that in a while. So, nothing. He's correcting my Hercules quote that was not correct. <laughs> of course, if anybody would know it, it's Sam Skibby. Uh, Sam is, wants to be in the booth for game two. That's perfectly so fine let, with me. I'll let you two do that. Wow, dang it! Well, it's my game. <laughs> oh. Not that I. I don't know if I'm playing. So, Paul has like 10 home runs this year now. And <laughs> four of them tonight. So, I, I think Paul is up to five home runs on the season now. I think he had one before that. Uh, Mambas need 18 to tie. I do wonder, is this, is this a revenge game for Paul? Because last season, Cole hit six home runs off Paul in one game. Could be. And now Paul's got four home runs off the Mambas. Could have been five. What a cra what a crazy night! You have to give Cameron credit. He is his own team's biggest fan. You absolutely love to see it. He's his own biggest fan. <laughs> that too. I was gonna leave it at his team's biggest fan. Ryan Hicks said. But that's he is he, he is. He complimented himself earlier with I hit number ten. Oh, yeah. He is number one fan for his own team. He, he likes he to, to see call things out, especially when it comes to him. What are you looking for, buddy? Oh, your glasses are on the top oh, of the no, table. Uh, Two two here to Grant. Oh, yikes. See you later. Yeah, sometimes that's what happens when you're not used to the wiffle ball movement. Yes. You don't realize that you're about to swing at a pitch that makes no sense. <laughs> and it's frustrating. Cole is two for four tonight. He does have a whoo, a mighty hack. Going late at that. GoPro's looking at the sky where Cole was planning on hitting the ball. I got it. Okay. Oh, and two now. That ball's up the middle, and that's going to be a base hit. If he doesn't get here, I'm going to play until Mike gets here. <laughs> what an absolute... You heard it here first. Hero story. This is like... Are we actually done? How much time do we have? Oh, we're done. And it's run rule, too. Huh? It, we're at time, and it's run rule. I thought it was 20 after 4. No, it's 10 after 5, 15 after 4. And it's 19 to 1. You're down 18. But it's been 52 minutes. The other side of it... Yeah. You really want to play another game? No. Go, <laughs> Parker. So Josh is looking to be the Kurt Gibson of wiffle ball. Um, instead of two bad legs, it's Just one bad arm. Only one, yeah. <laughs> I uh, will we'll be prepared for that call if it happens, if you hit the home that would run. Be awesome. Josh Parker. Rogers. Parker with, drives. With one bad arm. Parker gets a single through the uh, outstretched arm of Cam. So it is first and second, one down. Grant steps up again. Over for four tonight in his Mo Whip debut. I don't want to hear it about bloated stat games anymore. Uh, we didn't score 19 runs on anybody. No? I don't think so. I think we got close, but... We tend to be pretty free swinging at that point. Yes, not taking walks when yeah. you get that big. We start swinging at anything close. As you should. Because we just want to mash, we don't want to walk. But it's all good to each their own, as long as this game ends soon. Nah. Double play would be nice. And then you can catch us for the next game, which is the Empire versus the Pilots. As the Empire look to get themselves playoff ready with their full roster Grant here tonight. puts one in play. Oh, a little bobble there from Nick, but still sticks with it. 
That's two outs. So we got two on, two outs for the reigning Silver Slugger winner from season one. That is, uh, that's something I'm looking to take home this year, but I got to finish it out here. I don't think you're going to have any issues. But I mean, Ryan Brown's right behind me. Ryan right O'Rear's behind. right behind me, but Ryan O'Rear's not here, so I would have to really hurt oh, myself. Oh, Cole, jeez. Hey, that's their strikes. I'm sorry, uh, whatever those that? kids' names Nick? were. And that is ball game, and the Bombers take this one big, 19-1. to 1. Yikes. We will be right back here with the Empire. We're not going to end the stream, but we'll just let